Hello there. This is the CIA Corner here on TAF TV. My name is Ayo Okeme. Okay, today we'll be addressing the fiscal transparency as brought to us by the Open Budget Survey. That is the OBS, the only body that is responsible for analyzing budget and transparency in a country. All right, don't go anywhere, and I bet you they have actually rated Nigeria to a particular rank. They have actually rated Nigeria to a particular rank. Now, don't go anywhere. I'll bring you details of this story. <laughs> properly. Now, the open budget survey, like I told you earlier, have carried out a fiscal transparency and ranking on our dearest nation, Nigeria. And the issue of transparency is no longer news for Nigerians because we have actually come to uh, good terms that when it comes to happenings and politics in Nigeria, transparency is at, uh, would I place it at a uh, 0.5%. Now, these persons have actually come out to give Nigerians uh, a ranking for the past, um, should I say, one year. And I'll, I'll be reading uh, in regards to uh, Vanguard newspaper. I'll just make reference to what we have on the Vanguard newspaper, their words exactly. So on the Vanguard, we're seeing here, it says, fiscal transparency ranking. Nigeria slips to 92 out of 125 countries. Okay. Now down here, we're seeing Nigeria's ranking in fiscal transparency has slumped. According to the 2023 Open Budget Survey, that is the OBS, like I told you earlier, conducted by the International Budget Partnership, IBP. Okay, now these persons have come out to say that the country scored a dismal of 31 out of 100% transparency. Like Nigeria actually scored 31% out of 100% when it comes to transparency. That's to show you, would I say how bad our country has actually got into. We have come to understand that over time now, the issue of trans our, our government being transparent to the people. Okay, uh, let's take it from this angle. We, we know that um, we live, just like I said earlier, we live in a democratic nation, in quote, but the rules of democracy are not being played out. Because like we know in definitions, like the elementary definitions of democracy, democracy has to do with the people first. It has to do with the people. So anytime you're carrying out something in a democratic society and the people are not being involved, there is always need to carry out questions. I know of late now, most Nigerians are not aware that um, these OBS, these, um, these OBS bodies are actually watching. These OBS bodies are actually responsible for carrying out surveys on budgeting, most especially, and public participation. And these guys have come out to tell us that, see, our country is currently rating 31% over 100. That is a very poor score. Now, from what they said, as at 2021, um, yes, as at 2021, we were at 45%, which was very bad. But currently now, currently now, we are at 31%. That's to show you that our government has not been transparent enough. That's to show you that our government has not been transparent enough for the past two years now and still counting. All right, now, this person's the OBS. Now, OBS, the world's only comparative and independent evaluation of transparency and oversight and participation in national budgets, painted a gloomy picture of Nigeria's fiscal management. Now, this is what they, they said. The survey revealed that Nigeria's performance in transparency, first, public participation and institutional oversight has actually slumped. Trilling countries such as the survey revealed that Nigeria's performance in transparency, public participation and institutional oversight has actually dropped compared to what we have in other countries like Benin, uh, uh, Sierra Leone uh, and the likes. Now, the Nigerians' disappointing showing was attributed to government's failure to publish in one-year report and mid-year review online and adopt innovative public participation. Now, these guys are telling us, the, o the OBS bodies, they are telling us that the more reason why Nigeria actually dropped to 31%, you know, um, fiscal transparency has to do that. 
uh, has to do with uh, in the span of one year, you give us your budget. Um, you, 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 you get to post your budget online and these guys will carry out analysis. Now, these guys are telling us more reasons why Nigeria actually dropped to 31% and 92nd uh, position in, in, out of 125 nations of the world is that N Nigerian government refused to actually show out their budget online so they could carry out analysis. That's to show that it doesn't just end here in our nation, our, our, our government trying to play us uh, politics and political games alone. They have actually carried out, carried this out to an outside body that this is, this is an external body actually lamenting that they refused to carry out this fiscal transparency report and how they run their budget for the space of one year. And that is why we have actually dropped to um, 31 percent over 100. Now, let's look at uh, the issue of public participation. Of least now, based on uh, as a result of this, our government not being transparent in, in the things of, of governance, in the things that has to do with the people. Most Nigerians, I could boldly say 80 percent of Nigerians, especially youth, are not interested in political talks. They are not interested in political participation. They are not even interested in the things of, of the nation. Take, for instance, why would our government um, have to sit and make out budgets and pass bills that has to do with the people without not involving the people? Those are one of the questions that we Nigerians should, should actually ask our government. Why pass a bill that has to do with the people without having a, a, a clear knowledge of how this person will feel about this bill without having to involve them. Now, that is what the OBS are actually pointing out to the government, that for the space of two years now, they have not been transparent, even in their budget and uh, participation of the nation. So they are actually pointing it out, out to, to this government that internationally, not just locally now, here in Nigeria, internationally, you, you are, we, we can say that Nigeria has actually been a huge, um, forgive me, I would say, a huge failure. So uh, I'll also cast our minds back to uh, the very first time our, uh, our government, our, our governance in quotes, actually tried to be transparent. This was, we, we could still remember the, the, the issue of beavers during the days of our election, where they told us that this election will be uh, free and fair and very transparent, that the results will be displayed online. And those were one of the reasons where, uh, why most Nigerians were so involved in this particular election that ended. But what actually happened? The thing of not being transparent is actually in our blood. So at the end of the day, we ended up not using the beavers. Nigerians actually waited online, and for the results that came the, uh, the, the first three hours were questionable. It got to a point where uh, it became too much that they, they, they had to shut down every... I know most Nigerians can, can still play back those, uh, those things that happened in their various polling units and uh, across the nation. That was the first time Nigeria actually tried to be transparent and get to involve the people, but it never yielded any result. So at this point, we would say, please and please, it is not okay that um, we are being placed at 92nd position when it comes to uh, out of 125 nations of the world, we are being placed at 92nd when it comes to transparency and having to involve the people. What's the essence of democracy if we don't have to involve the people. So we are pleading with our government, please let us start painting the green, white, green, uh, a national flag. Let's stop staining it. So at this point, we're pleading with our government. So at this point, we are pleading with the federal government because it is them that they are dragging now currently that we are out of 100%, that we are 31st out of 100. That is, if this should be an institution, we will see that student has actually failed. So at this point, we are putting it to our government that they are failing us. This is international body dragging it. This is not coming from us Nigerians now. This is an international body putting it to Nigerians that we are not doing well. Please let's, so please let our government, so please let our government get back to the drawing table and at least try to be transparent and take us away from 31% to at least the 45 that we were as of 2021. All right, this has been the CIA Corner, and I've been your co-host for today. My name is Ayo Okeme. Please do well to drop your comments in regards to this. And if you have better ways to actually reform this nation for a better hope, please do well to drop it on our comment section. Regardless of what happened, do well to take care of yourself. See you next time. <laughs>